Well, the only lightning skill I think I've seen was Lightning Storm. And the damage it does per mana seems... I don't know. You know what? Let's... Uh, hold on. Let's try Lightning Storm again. Alright, we'll try Lightning Storm out. Okay. Uh, let's go southeast. I think it does like one hit, then two, then four, or something like that. So let me fill up the bar here. Ah, eh, so it might be worth it. If you got a whole full bar before firing, it might be pretty good. Druidic Spirit, oh, spirit Offering. I sent you building Discord during a bad time. No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Let's see. We got a blue thing down here. Are they planning another beta open or close before ship? Because there seem to be lots of things to retest. Um, for, first of all, I would keep in mind that our definition of things they need to retest might not be the same as theirs. Um, but I don't know. Like, as far as class balance goes, I would assume that they don't really... I would assume that they wouldn't really care about how balanced the classes are at a low level. They care about how balanced they are at a higher level. So, it might not bother them that they're, uh... Oh, wow, look at that. That was a good one. It might not bother them that, like, you know, Necro and Sorcerer are crazy OP right now, for example. I, I think they're more about testing server stability and think about like day one queue times versus like the first day of queue times last weekend versus today's queue times right now. Like I think they've already made vast improvements in that regard. Like how much the servers can handle the login servers, stuff like that. Um, with a sorcerer now. Yeah, that lighting was pretty fun. It definitely seems to be a don't use it unless the bar's fully charged up, though. Uh, destroy the enemy structures, one remaining. Raise the effigies complete. Uh, uh, 
Dark and Sanctum. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll take that. Uh, worried about balance more that Druid Pets are wonky. A couple forms of Necrogolem haven't seen air, that such. Uh, play with Druid Kids, he's got so good at Light Swords, it's OP. Um, yeah, I, again, the thing is, like, they could test, like, how functional, like, uh, the, the pet AI is and stuff like that in the house. Like, if one of them played Druid, they were like, okay, today I'm testing Vine Creeper. You know, they would see really quick it's broken. They, they, they would see that really, really quickly. So it, it's it's not even something that you need a big QA team for. It's just one QA guy would find that out in five minutes. If, that, if he was like, okay, today I'm testing this. Uh, hello, I'm interested in the game. Is D4 considered an MMO ARPG? Because, like, I'm playing the beta, no so permanent death mode. Does this mean if I die while playing, everything will be erased, including the friends that I added and Guild I joined into? Just curious how that works. Uh, hello, Kevin. So you're talking about hardcore mode? Hardcore mode... <sighs> Let's see. I think to answer that, I would need to know, if you joined a clan or a guild in this game, is that account-wide or just on one specific character chat? I would assume it's account-wide, which means if your hardcore character died, you'd still be in the clan just on a new character. Don't stir too much, though. That's how it was in the previous Diablo games. My single target damage would be much better if the passive vine worked. I must wait a minute. Whoa! It's like assassin dudes on me. Uh, I was hoping that would hit behind the wall. It seems like the the roots require line of sight. How about the inventory of the character that died? In most uh, ARPGs, if you're in hardcore and your character dies, whatever's in their inventory is also gone. Now, I, there is, is one exception. Uh, your wallet, like your gold and stuff, is account-wide in this. So I think if your character dies, the gold remains. Like, you, like, if you made a new character that's hardcore, I think they would have the gold. I think. I made one hardcore character during the beta, and I never died, so I'm not positive on that, but that's how I think it is. Uh, let's see. We leveled up. What do we got? Alright. Uh, Hurricane, we've already tested. Boulder, we've tested. Crushing Earth. Come on. Crushing Earth. Earth spells. Do 5% increased damage. Do slowed stun and mobilize for knockback enemies. Crit charge charge to fortify you and your fortifier for your senior next life. Uh, Rabies. Shape shift into a werewolf and perform an infectious bite on the target, doing 80 damage. And applying an additional 153 poisoning over six seconds. Infected enemies spread rabies to other surrounding targets. That's pretty cool. That functions the way it did in D2. Um, <laughs> poison buffs right here. Trample, shapeshifter to wearbear gaining unstoppable. Charge four, doing 74 damage on back enemies. Enemies are not back. Into terrain, take more damage and are stunned. Uh, mending while in werebear form, you receive more healing. Uh, for power, okay. Hmm. Hmm.
try rabies. Actually, I think I'm going to love rabies, so we're, we're going to try trample first. Just so I can go, yeah, this sucks, and then I'll, I'll, I'll go to rabies after that. So that was trample. Goes through a lot of enemies, that's kind of cool. But now we're left with all this mess to clean up. I'm not ready yet. Alright. Slay the Watchman 1. There's a one more here. I missed one dude. Oh, here we go. That's kind of fun. Just hit him with rabies and run around. Plus, does less damage than the Vine Creeper Elite. Uh, what is the other bonus things for it? Raven, uh, Raven's poisoning also increases over the lifetime of the disease, dealing 30% bonus damage at max duration. Uh, Raven's deals its total poisoning damage in 4 seconds instead of 6. Raven's spreads 100% faster. 4 seconds instead of 6 is not necessarily good, because that means after 4 seconds it wears off and it has less chance to spread to other people. Good for burst. Well, yeah, but you might end up with leftover enemies because of that. I must wait. Wow, I think both wolves just missed their attack.
feel like I don't have enough buttons on my hotbar. That shrine was giving me infinite uh, energy for a minute there. Uh, use the watchman's key to open the gate. All right. One of those guys was named Firebrand. I can't escape him. Potato King. Apparently the Potato King button also turns me into a werewolf. Oh boy! Mwah! I'm getting max energy here. Alright. What? Oh man. Yeah, I think until we up the damage of rabies, I need to keep using the lightning thing. I'm not ready yet. The fact that you can't drink uh, potions or anything in this game while you're stunned is brutal. Feared. <sighs> uh, let's see. Small upgrade on the hat, the boots, the boots again. Looks like that's it. Um, what if we put rabies there? Get rid of one of our defensive skills. Little risky. Let's see what happens. This is a big dungeon thing. I 
Just wait a moment. Uh, as long as we're doing Condi build again, high market chat. Every chance I get, Sassy Bunny. I knew that was gonna hit me. I didn't think it was gonna hurt that much. I was like, oh, I'm full life. I'm full life, but it was just like a lot of my life and sent me flying across the room. Also, there was a healing station there, so this is probably the boss room. Hi, what up, Den Mother? Hi. Single ravenous werewomen are in your area, chat. Wow, I have used all my skills and she is still going strong. There she is. Oh, I cannot use the lightning spell on her. She she uh, she moves too much. Finger on the dodge key. Oh, ah, opening. Man, imagine if the poison vine actually passively attacked. <laughs> we would actually be chipping her down a little bit. I'm not ready yet. I'm glad I have a ranged build option, ranged attack right now, though. Also, the fact that when my wolves die, they just, like, respawn for free is pretty neat. I must wait a moment. You've unlocked Aspect of Conflagration. What's that? While channeling Incinerate, your burning damage is increased by 20%. Ah, sorcerer. Alright. Which one's better, Necro or Druid? Necromancer. Druid feels like it's completely unfinished. There is many things about it that just flat out do not work. Like, the tooltip says it does the thing, and then you click it and it doesn't do the thing. Like, when I say do it does not work, I'm not being, like, just a whiny streamer. I'm just saying, like, it's, it's freaking not working at all. <laughs> Whatever you say, whiny streamer, man. Hmm. Let's see this event. Uh... 
Mark does wine all the time, and Flute's always here to remind me of it. Flute, my, uh, I was talking to my wife today, we're in the car, and I was like, do I go left or right here? She's like, you don't know this area? And I was like, nope, we're lost. And she's like, go straight. And we went like 50 feet. I was like, oh, I know where we are. We're by the house. And she's like, yes. And she's like, you know, before we got married, I used to think I was bad with directions. And I was like, that's what I do. I make other people feel better about themselves by contrast. Chad, I'll use a GPS to go two miles. Just used rabies on a steep. Rabies doing its thing. I must wait on that. I must wait on that. Oh man, that full channel didn't even kill one bone captain? What the heck? Druid looks like Barb is not fun at all. <laughs> so, all right. To be fair, there's an entire system here called Spirit Boons that we can't try. Because it to unlock it, you have to go talk to this guy, and he's in an area of the map we cannot reach in the beta. I have no idea what Spirit Boons are. However, the version that we have of Druid right now makes me very sad. Just because I was a huge fanboy of Druid in D2, and by god, this was not it. Like, the wolves do, like, such little damage. I mean, they're doing some, I guess, but... Look at that sick DPS. 